Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jagda Saravanan, Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics. The topic for discussion we selected is double integrals in Cartesian form. The double integrals. Before going to the topic, first we will discuss what is definite integral, that is introduction to definite integral, definition of double integral, problems should be solved by using double integrals. The introduction to definite integral. What is the connectivity of this double integral and definite integral? Because our topic is double integral, what is the reason for discussing this definite integral? The definite integral, it's nothing but the integral with lower and upper limits compulsory it will be. Integration which is used to calculate areas, volumes and displacement. The definite integral is extended to more than one variable. If it is only one variable, it is definite integral. If it is extended to more than one variable, then we will call it as double integral or multiple integrals. This double integral which is used in two dimensional way, that is in the xy plane, this double integral is used. The definition of definite integral that is, f of x is a function of one variable which is bounded on a comma b. That is the closed interval a comma b. The meaning of bounded, that is a and b are real numbers. This closed interval a b which is divided into n sub intervals. That is, suppose our interval is 2 comma 10, it is there. We can sub intervals 2 comma 3 we can take or 3 comma 5. And it is divided into n sub intervals by the points x0, x1, x2, so on up to xn. So this closed AB it is divided in such a way, A is the opening, B is the ending, because that is our closed interval A comma B. In between the points X0 in such a way, X0 less than X1, which is less than X2, so on less than Xn. If we want X2, x2 minus x1, it's nothing but del x2. Here we can see the formula that is xi minus xi minus 1. I have taken i for the explanation purpose. 2 I have taken. So it has become x2 minus here i place I put it 2 x2 minus x1, it's nothing but del x2 for i equal to 1 to n. Now, ti is an arbitrary point. Here we selected, 2 we selected, we got it to substituting x1 comma x2. In between, infinite number of points are there. It is in general formula. That's what it is x1 and x2 it has taken. In variables, 
in real numbers. Suppose 3, 5 is there. In between, infinite number of real numbers are there. In the infinite number of real numbers, any one number, any one point we can take, that is arbitrary point. The meaning of arbitrary point, we have the liberty to choose any point, but result will be the same. That's what it is, arbitrary point. So the TI we are going to take be an arbitrary point in this particular interval. This is our function. Some function is given. That function, the value that is our arbitrary point is substituted into del xi. The complete summation we are going to do, i equal to 1 to n. Because our interval is divided into n finite subintervals. Now, so the interval a comma b, which is divided into n finite subintervals, at particular stage, if it is infinity, then the del i tends to 0. Then the limit is defined to be integral a to b f of x dx. So the definite integral is a to b f of x dx. Our closed interval a comma b it is divided into n finite subintervals x2 this is the definition del xi equal to xi minus xi minus 1 one particular stage the dividing n tends to infinity then this del xi will become 0. That is the concept. Integral a to b, f of x dx is called definite integral. Now, the definition of double integral is this continuation of definite integral it is strictly, it is related to one variable. If it is related to two variables, then it is double integral. Now, one particular region is given here. That region we divided. This region is R1. This region is R2. If we want one more region, this is R3. One more region, R4. This region is R5. Going on, we are dividing these regions into n times. Then up to Rn, we are going to get. So, the definite integral, what is the concept related to one variable? Here, double integral in the region is divided into n times the variable it is extended to two variables that is in the xy plane. Now the region R in the xy plane bounded by that is they are bounded by the value is in real numbers by one or more curves. Now, f of x comma y, two variables are there. The function which is defined in two variables. That's what it is double integral. It is defined at all points of R. Now, the region is divided into small subregions. That is del R1 del R2, 
del R3, so on up to del Rn. They are pairwise non-overlapping. Each there is no overlapping. Now, xi comma yi compulsory two variables be an arbitrary point. That means any value we can take in the subregion del r i. In general, we are taking. Considering the sum, that is, this is at the point, the function x1, y1, del r1, this is at the point x2, y2, this is at the point xn, yn, the entire sum we are doing. The same, this region also, we are dividing. There the n times we are dividing, if it is the n tends to infinity, then this del ri tends to 0. Now this limit of the double integral of f of x comma y is over our region r, it is denoted by Double integral, the capital R represents a region f of that is a function in two variables x and y d capital R that is the directions. We can write d capital R otherwise the dimensions x y plane that is the reason the dr it's nothing but dx dy the complete the double integral the region r is the function f of x comma y we have to do the differentiation with respect to x and with respect to y we will concentrate your problem that is evaluate the interior integration is 1, 2. The outer one is 0, 3. The function is x, y of 1 plus x plus x dy dx. The four limits are there. Four limits are constants. So this particular problem the question it is given dy dx. If we want to dx dy also, the same problem we can evaluate. The answer will be the same. The reason is because the four limits are constants. Now, if instead of this uh, four limits are constants, Suppose here the interior one is given x. In case if it is given. That is the interior integration is a function of x. Which is defined for y. That is y equal to x, y equal to 1. Then first compulsory the interior integration with respect to y we have to do it. Suppose the question like this it is there. This, this, if you do the comparison, same everything it is there. This, this. Here dy dx is there. Here dx dy it is there. But dx dy it is totally wrong. Because the interior integration is a function of x, that is which is defined for y, y equal to x. So compulsory, the interior integration, we have to do integration with respect to y only, strictly we have to follow. So while reading the question, the limits, depending on the limits, 
the integration the interior one to be with respect to y or with respect to x we have to notice it carefully now we will come back to our question our question here the four limits are constants dy dx we can do otherwise dx dy we can do both the same answers we will reach now this interior one it is kept in a bracket separate we did we are going to focus on this interior integration first we will evaluate after evaluating this interior integration this particular place we will substitute to the result otherwise here only keeping also we can do it but to avoid the careless mistake this evaluation we are doing separately so it is written the interior integration with respect to y we have to do it so integral from 1 to 2 xy into 1 just we are removing the brackets xy xy into x x square y xy into y xy square here we are doing the integration with respect to y but another one variable also it is there x is there the correct word we can use it here we are doing the integration partial integration we are doing that is when we are integrating y we are keeping the another variable x as constant now here x is written as it is this y integral integral y dy a simple the formula x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so y power 1 1 plus 1 2 y square by 2 x square as it is it is treated as constant y dy integral is y square by 2 x is written as it is this y square integral is y cube by 3 1 to 2 now in the place of y we substituted the upper limit here we are substituting it has become here 4 4 by 2 2 so 2x here also 4 4 by 2 2 2x square here we are substituting 2 it has become 8 8x by 3 we completed the upper limit this is formula minus the next one the lower limit is 1 so in the place of y we are substituting 1 so x by 2 here in the place of y square we are substituting x square by 2 here in the place of y we are substituting x by 3 now this both the like terms we are adding and we got it 14x by 3 this 2x square as it is this minus is as it is x by 2 plus x by 3 taking lcm we got it 5x by 6 this x square by 2 it is written as it is now here and this one 14x by 3 minus 5x by 6 taking lcm it has become 23x by 6 it is written this is 2x square minus x square by 2 this simplification 
which leads to 3x square by 2. Here it is not there. So the interior integral we integrated and we got this is the result. This result, this is only our question. This part we integrated and we got this is the result. So this particular place we are going to substitute this result. So we substituted in this place. This integral is as it is. This dx part is as it is. Now this we have to do with respect to x we have to do the integration. That is 23 by 6 as it is. x integration is x square by 2 and this is 3 by 2. x square integration is x cube by 3. 0 to 3 is our limits. We did the simplification. 23 into x square, 23 x square, the 6 twos are 12, it is written. 3, 3 getting cancelled, the remaining is x cubed by 2, 0 to 3. Now, this 23 by 12 as it is, the upper limit is 3. We are substituting in this place. We got it 9. This plus is plus. 1 by 2 is as it is. x cube, it is taking the value 3. The 3 cube is 27. Upper limit is completely over. Lower limit is not written. The reason is. This is the upper limit minus the lower limit is 0. X place we are substituting. The lower one is completely becoming 0. So the simplifications we are cutting here. 3 is common. So 69 by 4 plus 27 by 2 taking LCM we got it 123 by 4. Just this is multiplied by 2, 69 plus 54, it's nothing but 123. The next problem is evaluate. The outermost integral is 0 to 1. The interior, the inner integration is x to root x, x square plus y square dx dy. This is the integration, double integration we have to evaluate. But the given we wrote it, the interior integration is a function of x. It is a double integral that is our xy plane. So the interior integration is a function of x defined for y, y equal to. Then we have to do the interior integration with respect to y only. But in the question it is dx, it is there. So we have to modify the question according to our limit condition. So it is modified y equal to x, y equal to root dx, dx dy, the question it is there that we changed into dy dx. So now we are going to focus this interior integration. So strictly we changed it. The reason is this is our question y equal to y equal to, it should become here dy, that is what it is written, first modified and we wrote it. We will focus on only now this interior integration, that is integral x root x, x square plus y square dy. 
x square is treated as constant because we are doing integration with respect to y. dy integral is y. So we completed this part integration. The plus is as it is. y square integration is y cube by 3. The limits are written as it is. x is lower limit. Upper limit is root x. Now, this x square as it is. Here it is there. x square is as it is. y is replaced by root x. Because our, we are concentrating now upper limit. Here we are substituting root x is 3 times it should be written. This 2 times it is becoming x. x root x, this 3 is 3. We completed the upper limit substitution. Formula minus. The lower limit is x. x square, this is replaced by x. x square into x, x cube. This plus is written as it is. This y is replaced x cube by 3. So the lower limit, upper limit, both are completed. Now here x square is there. Here x is what? Power is 1 by 2. So 2 plus 1 by 2 equal to 5 by 2. So x power 5 by 2 plus x power 1 plus 1 by 2 equal to x power 3 by 2. This minus sign as it is 4x cube by 3. So the interior integration from the question according to the limits we modified, we integrated, we got this is the result. Now this particular place we are going to substitute this result. So this particular place, the result is substituted. And this should be integrated with respect to x. Now, x power 5 by 2, a simple integral formula, it's very x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Our n is 5 by 2. So 5 by 2 plus 1, it's nothing but 7 by 2. So x power 7 by 2 by 7 by 2. This 7 by 2 upbringing, it is written 2 by 7. The next one, x power 3 by 2. 3 by 2 plus 1, this integration we are concentrating x power 3 by 2 plus 1. So x power 5 by 2 by 5 by 2. This numerator is written. This 3 is written as it is. But 5 by 2 up bringing it has become 2 by 5. Minus this 4 by 3 we didn't touch at all as it is written. x cube integral is x power 4 by 4. Now, upper limit is 1. In the x places, we are substituting 1. So, 2 by 7, here 2 by 15, minus 4, 4 getting cancelled, minus 1 by 3. Now, we are taking the LCM, 7, 15, 3, put together the LCM is 105. Simplifying this fractions, we got it 9 by 105. More simplifications we did, taking 3 as common. So the lowest form of fraction is 3 by 35. The next problem is evaluate. The interior integration is 0 to 1. The outermost integration is 0 to 1 dx dy square root of 1 minus x square into 1 minus y square. 
So the given, the question we rotate, we are concentrating the four limits are constants. If four limits are constants, interior integration with respect to y or x, anything we can do it. Here x equal to 0 we are taking. That means here also x equal to 1. It's already written 1. x equal to 1 x equal to 1 dx by square root of 1 minus x square. The remaining we put it outermost integration. First we will integrate the interior one. So integral 0 to 1 dx by square root of 1 minus x square. This particular integration is sine inverse x 0 to 1. The upper x place the upper limit 1. Sine inverse 1. It's nothing but pi by 2. This is formula sine upper limit minus lower limit value we are getting 0 because we substituted in the place of x 0, sine inverse 0 is 0. So the final answer for this interior integration, we got pi by 2. So this is only our question. This complete we did the interior integration, we got the value pi by 2. That pi by 2, it is substituted here. That is the here. The left over this one integral y equal to 0 to 1. This dy by square root of 1 minus y square. Just we have written the next step. Pi by 2 is written before the integral. So the integral limits varies from 0 to 1. We will do the integration with respect to y, that's what a dy, divided by square root of 1 minus y square. This pi by 2 as it is. For this particular thing, the integration is sine inverse y. y is taking the value, the upper limit value 1. Sine inverse 1 is pi by 2. So this pi by 2, this pi by 2, pi by 2, upper 1, we are substituting y place 1. It has become sine inverse 1 is pi by, pi by 2. Formula minus sine inverse 0 is 0. That's what here, this pi by 2, pi by 2, this pi by 2 here put together pi square by 4. The next problem, evaluate the outermost integral 0 to 4, the interior 1 0 to x square e power y by x dx dy. So the given, the question is written, integral 0 to 4 Integral y equal to 0 to x square. It is given in our problem. It is given in the question. That means the interior integration is a function of x, which is defined for y. Then we have to do the integration with respect to y. So the interior integration it is written separate, we have written. We are going to focus first the interior integration. After getting the result in the particular place, we are going to substitute. Otherwise, keeping here also, we can do it, nothing wrong in it. To avoid the careless mistakes purpose, interior one separate we are doing. So the interior integration is kept separately. We will do the integration with respect to y. So the e power y by x 
is e power y by x. Y integration is 1, y by x. The coefficient is 1 by x. So, divided by 1 by x, 0 to x square. So, now the upper limit is x square. In the place of y, we are going to substitute x square. So, e power x square by x, it's nothing but e power x divided by this one, 1 by x. Up, we are taking, it has become x e power x. So, the upper limit we completed, formula minus. The lower limit is y place, we are putting this lower limit is 0. e power 0 is 1 divided by 1 by x. We are bringing up, it has become x. So, the interior integration we completed. So, that particular place we substituted these values. Now, we will focus on this integration. Now, this integration is this x e power x. Very simple logic. x that is combination of algebra and exponential. x e power x integrating formula minus algebra going on we will do differentiation we can check it like this e power x integral is e power x next we won't continue because this one differentiation is going to become zero so we can see it here this part x e power x this is minus e power x this minus sign is minus x power 1 the integral is x square by 2 0 to 4 now we will substitute wherever x the upper limit 4 we will substitute so here it is taking 4 4 minus sign minus sign 4 minus here 16 by 2, 8. This is upper limit we completed. Formula minus. The lower limit is 0. That we substitute in the x place. 0 into anything 0. Minus e power 0. This particular part it is becoming minus 1. This part is becoming 0 because 0 divided by 2 is 0. So, this simplification is 4 e power 4 minus e power 4 is 3 e power 4. Here minus 8. This is plus 1. It is becoming minus 7. We will come to a conclusion of this double integrals in Cartesian form. The definition of double integral, the basic concept, definite integral that is extended to two variables is double integral. That background we discussed. This is the formula for double integral. That is double integral, the capital R represents region. It is two dimension. That's what the function is taking the two variables x and y. And we are doing the differentiation in two directions, two dimensions and x and y. We have taken the problems. The first problem, four limits are constants. That we discussed it. The second one, the interior, the function, that is the limits, is a function of x. Then it is defined for y. But the question is given the interior integration with respect to x. So, evaluating the problems, limits are given more concentration. For that purpose, this problem is selected in this video lecture. The third one, the different types of integrals, that is dx by square root of 
1 minus x square into 1 minus y square. This problem is concentrated taking four limits or constants. The next one is the interior integration is defined for y as a function of that is the interior integration is a function of x square defined for y. Again the question interior is given dx. We modified it because concentrating on the limits of the integrations. So for the four problems, the different way we concentrated about double integrals. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.